Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we are going to make a fun envelope flip book. So go get your craft supplies and let's get started. For my flip book I'm going to make my own envelopes and I have a free template for the one I'm using. And I'll leave the link down below for you guys. I really like the size of this envelope because it fits Project Life cards perfectly. But of course you can use any kind of envelope you want. Okay, so I'm just folding the sides in and making them nice and crisp with my pencil and adhering it together with some tacky glue. For this flip book you will need three envelopes all the same size and you're going to cut off the bottoms off of two. I wanted to note that the direction of your envelope does matter. So for your first one it will be the one with the stamp, then your loading pocket, and then the one with the stamp. To attach all the envelopes we are going to use the hidden hinge method. To do this you're going to add some adhesive to the middle envelope on the little flap and you're going to place it inside of the first envelope so that it's sandwiched between the front and the back cover. And you're going to repeat the process with the very last envelope. I think this would be really cool if you tried a different color for each envelope, especially if you did an ombre. Okay, so for our next step, we're going to add some Project Life cards. If you're interested, the cards I'm using are from the Winter Wishes collection and I'll leave the link down below to the shop if you'd like to check it out. So you're just going to add one to each solid section. So that would be the very first one and the very last one. And to give it some added glam, I'm using glossy accents and just going to glue it all the way around the edge and add some glitter. The color I'm using is similar to a rusty rose color. I wanted to say a rusty gold, but that's not right. <laughs> and I'm going to repeat the process on the cute little deer card. <laughs> so if you have any cute Project Life cards that you have extras of, I think it'd be really cool if you decoupage them to maybe some heavy cardboard or a piece of lightweight wood and then added the glitter on the edges and included a ribbon on the back. I think that would be an awesome DIY Christmas gift that you can give to a family member for their tree. <laughs> for the center, you're just going to add some fun embellishments. They can be things that you drew or images that you found online or maybe some images that you cut out of scrapbook paper. The ones I'm using are from the Winter Wishes collection by Little Hot Tamale. <laughs> When you're attaching your embellishments, keep in mind where you're placing your glue or your adhesive because you don't want to glue your pocket shut. <laughs> if you're like me and you use glossy accents and leave the cap off, you will find out quickly that a straight pin is your best friend. It is perfect to dislodge any dried glue in the nozzle. So I think a little phrase would be perfect for the right hand corner of my deer card. Because who doesn't love a nice phrase? <laughs> so I chose outdoor fun to go with all the blue here and there on all the cards and embellishments. And it goes well with all the outdoor images. Now we're going to create a hole reinforcement. And I'm just using a basic hole punch and a circle hole punch that measures 5 eighths of an inch. I'm going to use my reinforcement and place it on my envelope so that I know approximately where I would like to punch my new hole. <laughs> I probably should have done this step first just in case I messed it up. <laughs> and then you want to have one more reinforcement for the back. If you don't have a circle punch, that's okay. You can always freehand a square or a triangle, the shape really doesn't matter. Now I'm just going to add a frosty rosette. It has glitter around the edge so that's why I called it a frosted rosette. And I have a tutorial for this, it's actually a paperclip tutorial, but I didn't include the paperclip. So it's perfect just as is. <laughs> and I'll leave the link for that video down below if you would like to learn how to make it. 
the ticket, I'm just using a mini clothespin. But if you'd like a more male-friendly version, just use adhesive. It's time to decorate the back side. We're going to adhere a Project Live card to the center panel. Only add adhesive to the left, right, and bottom sides because we're going to make it into a pocket. If you don't have Project Life cards, that's totally fine. You can always cut a piece of paper down to three by four. And then we're just going to decorate the two side panels with some more embellishments. On the right side, I'm just doing some light layering. So I'm using a mini doily. I'm just gonna cut it down and add a blue Christmas tree, a pink deer, and a fun speech bubble. <laughs> because who doesn't love a talking deer? <laughs> and once again, just be aware of where you're gluing everything down because you don't want to glue your pocket shut. If you're wondering, the snowflake sequins are from Hobby Lobby and they're in the sequin section just a little bit of glossy accents to keep it in place. And on the fold flap, I'm using the phrase decorated with love because it was. <laughs> to add some more sparkle to my envelopes, I'm punching out a glitter star and a snowflake. If you're going to have your embellishments hang off the sides, make sure and not put them in the center section because when you fold your envelope close you're going to wrap the string around the center and it will get in the way. Alright and a little phrase on the little deer speech bubble and it says snow! <laughs> it kind of sounds like the voice that I do for my cat Gizmo. <laughs> yes I talk for my cat sometimes but it's so cute and funny. So for the center pocket, I just created a mini tag. Well, it's not really mini, but you just want it to fit inside of the glued section so it'll be slightly smaller than your Project Life card. For the fun fringe, I'm using some crepe paper and I'm just going to cut them in very tiny strips. Now I'm loving crepe paper. I've been using it like crazy lately. I'm curious, what is your favorite scrapbooking or paper crafting item right now. If you want to share just let me know in the comment section. Okay so I'm just going to take all my mini crepe paper strips and attach them with a tiny attacher. And to hide the staple I'm just using a heart embellishment. And there you go a cute simple tag fold your envelopes, you're just going to fold it like an accordion. You're going to close it by having the bottom flap fold over all the layers to the top section. With everything in place, we're going to use some string and I'm using embroidery thread. But you can use baker's twine, eyelash yarn, whatever you have. Just knotted the string to the reinforcement. I left one string significantly shorter than the other side, but I kept both links long enough so that I would be able to tie a bow. Now I'm just going to cut some little Christmas trees out of this strip of paper to make little bullet points. For this card, I'm just going to talk about either my favorite Christmas movies or maybe my favorite Christmas songs, something like that. All right, and I'm just going to set that aside and now we're going to make a confetti pocket. To make it, I'm just using a strip of leftover vellum paper, but if you don't have vellum paper, you can just use a regular paper. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to fold your paper so that one side is slightly longer than the other side, and you're going to tape the sides shut. Now it's time to make a fun mixture for your pen pal. To be honest, this is my go-to mix right now for the Winter Wishes collection, and all of them can be found at Hobby Lobby. In the description, I'll write down exactly what ones I use, if you want to create the same exact one. 
All right, and you're just going to put everything in your little pouch and then tape it shut. I think I may have filled my pouch just a little bit too much, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're just placing everything in all the pockets and for this one we're going to make a recipe card. So I'm just using a fun cookie pattern page. It's actually a 6x4 Project Life card that I folded in half. And I'm just going to add the phrase, life is better with Christmas cookies. And then on the inside I'll write my favorite cookie recipe for my pen pal. The middle envelope will be for our letter. I wanted to remind you that the bottom envelope or the envelope on the left hand side is the only envelope that is true to size because you added glue to the other two envelopes. To finish your project, you're just going to wrap the string around your envelopes and tie a bow and you're done. So much for watching and if you decide to make a flip book please use the hashtag little hot tamale on instagram because i would love to see it i hope you have an amazing day toodles <laughs>